What's up guys? Today we are going to be going over the perfect spring tackle bag, tackle box, tackle baits, tackle everything. And spring rods, spring just what to throw in general, spring fishing guide. So let's get to it. Okay, so what I have with me right now is just a Guggen tackle bag, some line. Just, these are some newer lures and my rods, this one can't. So my spinning rod, I actually snapped off. Nothing on that, but there was a um, wacky rig on my heavy rod. Frog. I mean, I don't know what else to really throw in it. Um, I mean, it's my top water, but this is a jig. I stopped fishing because, like, look what happened to it. The um, the circle thing came off, like the rubber band holding everything. So that just like broke off. But, yeah, I like the Guggen casting jig. I like slowly swim it on the bottom, and the fish love it. But, yeah. Let's get to the real one. So today, um, I'm gonna be talking about what to throw. What I've been throwing lately, just, just a black and blue jig. A lot of people say it's a white, but I've learned the more natural the color like, is used the white color, but right now just literally black and blue, black and blue, black and blue, black and blue. Let's open the bag up. So. I have, let's first start with some soft plastics. I have four tackle, bag, tackle boxes. Whoa, why is it so muddy? I don't know what that is really muddy. So we got black and blue violets, Senkos, and we already have Spandito bugs. Wonder worm, trench hog, bunker log. Now here's the first box. This is my. This is my frogs, crankbaits, dirt baits, spinning baits, some terminal tackle. I don't use this as much, well, except for the terminal tackle. But it's my nicer. This is mainly just this is literally like only top water. And we got spooks, some poppers and that type of stuff. Got the Maverick poppers. Just really hummers. I don't really like Guggen, as you can tell, but yeah. And I just threw some soft plastics in here. You can see. Yeah, this is my jig and bladed jig box. And this is what I use a lot. A lot of black and blue in here. Black and blue, black and blue swim, black and blue swim, black and blue chatterbait. I got a lot of those are all the chatterbaits. This is all my black and blue. Um, it should be, and I got more black and blue jigs from Guggen Squad coming here. This is a Guggen Squad chatterbait, yeah. So, I know this is the Guggen Squad, but this is what's in it. Got red jig, blue, another blue jig, some green pumpkin, like bluegill colored, more naturally. Then you got chatterbaits, then you got my black and blue, and my other, other, other jigs. Let's go to the next box. In top pocket. I got bandito bugs, more bandito bugs, more bandito bugs, and senkos, more vile crawls, vile bugs. Then we got my swim bait box. This got chad chad, some bluegills, bluegill, little rubber, you know, just. And I got this guy, the rat, whatever it's called. That got 20 bucks. Chad Chad is the more expensive one on the other hand. But I want to get into throwing those more often because I've caught one bass on the swim jig. I mean, the swim bait. Um, this is my trailer box. Whoa, it's heavy. I'm going to take out these Senkos. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place it with some. Yeah, look. Swim baits, these are all just all trailers and stuff. 
But yeah, I'm gonna add some more trailers to this. Hold on. I just added some black and blue some paddle tails. Some baits. Make sure it's closes. Don't killing all my lures. So this we got. We got swim baits. I mean trailers. That goes in here. I can honestly fit three tackle boxes in here, I think. Um, let's go with this box. And then ooh, put this box. Does that fit? Uh, no, it does not. So in my tackle bag, I got four boxes. I have my topwater box, my jig box, my crankbait and spinnerbait box. I am in terminal tackle, and then I have my trailer bag box in here, and then I have just a little box of um, swim baits. But yeah, um, so in this, it's you know the deal, just your typical top water box. You got everything from A to Z in this box for top water, but I need to get a little more, especially when we push up fall. But this is all my jigs. I have a lot of black and blues. I'm getting a little more soon, but. They're just so, I've seen they work so good in the spring. This is my black and blue, chatter bait, other baits, other jigs. Under this is crankbaits, jerk baits, and other crankbaits, spinner baits, and terminal tackle, and some frogs. Once we get up, hold on, we zip it. So in spring, bass are gonna be pushing them shallow. Which you guys already, if you're into fishing, like, you know, you know, yeah, they're going to push up shallow. So, I recommend casting down the line. You can cast in the middle, too. It really is just how your bass are acting. There's a lot of apps that can help you kind of, like, find out how your bass are doing. If they're in post-spawn, pre-spawn, and spawn. Just so you kind of know what the bass are like. And those will tell you your top baits to use in that area. Like, Deep Dive is probably one of the better apps in Bass Forecast. Any of those really, any of those fishing apps, they'll get you the job done. But other than that, there's not much to it. Um, bass, you you can still get top water blow ups in the spring too. They're not gonna be as heavy on that in the spring as in the fall, obviously. But yeah, I would not. I would switch baits off tonight. On my heavy rod, I have time frog. On my spinning rod, I have a jig that broke off. But so now it's kind of just like, you know. Classic, you know, my spinning rod on the other hand, there's nothing tied on. So, I'm gonna probably tie on a wacky rig, you know, just simple wacky rig. But that's the fishing for spring, that's all you need to know. And I would recommend if you just start getting one box, I'd recommend having it jigs, bladed jigs, crank baits if you like them, probably one swim bait, one or couple top waters. Hooks, like Texas rig hooks and wacky hooks, weights, that's it. That's really the perfect spring tackle box. And I might do this again, 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 again for every season. But, yep, that's what's in my tackle bag. So, you guys make whatever tackle bags you want. And I want to see some of your guys' videos. So, I know it's a little late for the spring tackle box thing, but it's okay. Still in spring, so it'll still catch some fish.